lived in Tucson, Arizona, and when we went out to visit them, we discovered that the cycle of the year is different there. During the winter, they get what they call female rain, just a little gentle sprinkle sometimes, but the major part of their rainfall, their water supplies in the summer, that's the male rain. That's when the thunderstorms and the heavy downpours come. And the way it goes is, Dawn is clear, and then through the morning, clouds gather on the mountain peaks. And then a little bit after lunchtime, those clouds come down into the valleys, and they do their rain dance, and there is a big downpour for not very long, and then it's over, and it clears off, and what it means is that July is apt to be more moderate in temperature than May because of those rainstorms. But if those rainstorms don't come, it's serious because in the desert, water is life. The story is based on a fragment, just a bit of hoping. <laughs> in the shadow of the cliff, there was a pond and that pond was the source of drinking water for all the creatures who lived in the desert thereabouts. In the desert, water is life. And the four-footed animals and the birds and the insects came to that pond to drink. <coughs> but it was especially life for the frogs that lived in that pond. Yes, there were frogs, because most years the pond didn't dry up completely. But there came a year when, in those summer months, the clear morning dawned and the clouds formed on the mountain peaks, but they didn't come down in the desert. They didn't do their rain dance. And as day after day, the hot sun went through those clear skies over the valleys, the level of water in the pond was going down and down and down. And all the animals were concerned because in the desert, water is life, but especially to the frogs. <coughs> and one little frog in particular began to think, why don't those clouds come down? Have they forgotten that we need them to come and do their rain dance? Someone needs to go tell those clouds. But who was going to go? The four-footed animals didn't want to go that far without something to drink. Frogs couldn't go, they'd dry up before they got halfway there. Tortoise wouldn't dry up, but who could wait for a tortoise to get there? Frog got to thinking about it, and Frog thought, well, we creatures know songs that have come from far away. It doesn't seem anyone carried them. It's as though a song can travel by itself. So maybe if I make up a rain song, could sing the rain song and that would tell the clouds to come down and dance. So the frog thought and composed the rain song. When she was ready, she began to sing <coughs> ribbit, 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 get her, get her, get her, quack, 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 get her, get her, get her, ribbit, ribbit, quack, quack. When she finished, she looked, nothing had changed. The other frog said, oh, that was a nice song. I haven't heard that song before. A real nice song. And, yeah, but it didn't work. And she explained her idea of the rainstorm song. And they said, well, that's a good idea, but I don't think one frog could do it all by herself. We, we need all the frogs to sing. The little frogs, the big frogs, the great big bull frogs. And so all you people here in the front section here, decide what size frog you are. Because we're going to need you to sing. I'm going to give you a signal like this to start singing, and this means your song is over, okay? I need you to sing. This is important in the desert. Water is life. You ready? Okay, let's sing. <laughs> came down to that pond, that's a little bit, for a drink. And they said, oh, nice singing, nice singing. That was good, that was good. That's really nice, really nice. And the frog said, yeah, but it didn't work. And they explained the idea about the rain song. The bird said, oh, we're the singers. 
we're the singers, yeah, yeah, we can sing. And you folks in the back there, you can whistle, you can warble, you can call like a raven, but we need you birds to sing. It's your turn now. Ready? <laughs> changed. Now the four-footed animals had come down to have a drink and they praised the birds singing. But the birds explained the idea about the rain song. The four-footed animals said, well, we can make noises too. The coyotes can howl and the mountain lions can growl and squeal and, and even the four-legged the lizards, they can hiss. So you four-legged animals in the back Decide what kind of animal you are. Are you going to are you going to howl or, or meow or squeal? Let's hear it. Sing your rain song. Oh, and that was wonderful. But oh, must be 